for setting up camp at Arizona State University. Tonight, ABC 15 had a vigil for those who were arrested. Organizers of that vigil say they are hoping to welcome the protesters as they are released from jail throughout. The night meanwhile at ASU, the protests continuing on campus today over Israel's war in Gaza. Our Lillian Donahue, working for you tonight, following this story, with the very latest I, yeah, right now, I'm in the walk-in shill parking lot, and I'm going to take you behind me, right. Now you can see a large group of pro-Palestine protesters. They have been here, some of them, we saw at the ASU protests earlier today. These dozens of protesters have been released this evening. The group is here tonight, chanting and celebrating those who come out. Now this is just the latest pro-Palestine. Demonstration of many over the past two music days. This video showing ASU police arresting nearly 70 people early Saturday morning at Old M on campus. Most of those not affiliated with the university. Traumatizing and scary. And but this is history. I think the university says they protect the First Amendment rights to protest. However, camping is not allowed on campus. Saturday night groups of protesters went before a judge for the first time before being released with conditions you are prohibited from returning to the ASU 10 campus unless you are a student currently enrolled at the ASU Tempe campus Mar County attorney. Rachel Mitchell says in a statement that no charging decisions have been made just yet. However, she takes this very seriously and quote, the people involved must be held accountable for their actions will never die. Despite a now gated lawn, protesters can standing for the value of life. The largest gathering happening in front of Gamage Auditorium protesters saying the arrests adding fuel to their cause. We're not going to stop. This is not going to deter us, if anything. It gives us more strength. Meantime, the ASU police response to Friday's morning protest is creating. Continued Saturday at ASU. We're standing for life. We're some controversy. Our cameras captured ASU police chief Michael Thompson in the yellow polo, removing tents from the protest area. A video was also sent to the ABC 15 investigators, where the chief was caught on camera admitting to cutting a person's tent with a knife before knocking a phone out of someone's hand. Did you just cut that tent with a knife? I sure did. We reached out to ASU for a response surrounding that encounter, and they tell us they do not have a response. Now taking you back out to the Watkins jail parking lot, they're still waiting on. Since we got here about 30-45 minutes ago, this whole group goes down to that entrance way where people are coming out hugging folks that we did speak with somebody very briefly. Um, they said it's been a tumultuous 12 to 24 hours for them, but they're actually proud to have been in the jail. We have that interview. We'll keep following up on this breaking scene right now. And of course, we'll, we keep following this developing story. It's unclear how long these folks are going to be out here overnight, waiting for everybody to be released. Reporting in Phoenix, Lylan, Don W. ABC 5, Arizona. All right, Lillian, thanks so much. And we know that this story is very important to many of you. At home, stay with ABC 5 as we will continue to watch for any new developments and bring you in-depth coverage. And if you missed any of our coverage so far, you can certainly see it all right now at abc15.com.